I've known Brent since 1996. I was the CEO of Sky Chefs, and in 1995, we made a very substantial acquisition. We bought our biggest competitor. And so I met Brent as a resource for dealing with excess capacity. We had what I perceived to be relatively unattractive product. Brent was absolutely convinced from day one that, that he and his network could figure out how to, how to be successful. I'll give you an example of how creative Brent can be. We had a very large and expensive kitchen in New York at LaGuardia Airport. And I was not persuaded that we were going to be able to be successful there. Uh, Brent pursued and cut a deal with Krispy Kreme Donuts, uh, who were just coming into the New York market. A real win. A win for them, but also a big win for us. Uh, the savings represented almost $22 million. It was clear to me we never could have achieved that with our own real estate department. I mean, well, it's just not going to happen. We didn't have the kind of cross-country resources that Brent was able to marshal. He was not to be dissuaded that because these were airline feeding flight kitchens uh, on, in airport locations, that there was not a market. I mean, he used the special purpose nature to his, to his benefit. He never seems to get discouraged, even when uh, up against uh, tough deals. He's a drive forward guy, and uh, the stuff that gets in the way, he gets out of the way and gets on with it. I 